Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a rather intriguing and sometimes unsettling topic, nine things evil people do when they know that you know. We often encounter difficult individuals in our lives, and understanding their behaviors when they realize we're onto them can be a crucial skill. So, if you want to learn more about recognizing and dealing with manipulative or toxic people, keep watching. Point number one, gaslighting and denial. Evil people often resort to gaslighting, which involves manipulating the truth to make you doubt your own sanity. They might deny your claims or alter the facts to make you question your memory or perception of reality. It's a form of psychological warfare meant to keep you under their control. Like if the evil person tries to make you feel like you're losing your grip on reality. They might say things like, you're overreacting, that didn't happen, or you must be mistaken. Over time, this constant denial can make you doubt your own perceptions and memories. Point number two, projection. When evil individuals feel exposed, they often project their own flaws onto you. They'll accuse you of things they're actually guilty of, shifting the blame to deflect attention from their misdeeds. It's a common tactic used to create confusion and divert the focus from their wrongdoings. For example, if they're lying, they might accuse you of being dishonest. This tactic is meant to make you feel like you're the one in the wrong, distracting from their own questionable behavior. Point number three, isolation. Evil people may try to isolate you from your support system. They'll use tactics like spreading rumors, manipulating your friends, or causing conflicts to keep you away from those who could help you see through their deception. Isolation makes it easier for them to maintain control over you. They might start rumors about you or sow discord in your relationships, creating a sense of loneliness and dependence on them. Isolation makes it harder for you to escape their influence. Point number four, manipulative charm. One of the eeriest things evil people do is exhibit a charming and manipulative facade. They can switch from being ruthless to charismatic in the blink of an eye. This charm is a tool they use to keep you off balance and unable to discern their true intentions. They can be incredibly charming and charismatic when it serves their purposes. This charm is used to disarm you, making it difficult to see through their manipulative behavior. Point number five, scapegoating. Scapegoating is a classic evil tactic. When they realize you're onto them, they'll find a convenient scapegoat to pin the blame on, diverting attention away from themselves. This can be a way to escape consequences for their actions and maintain their reputation. By shifting the focus to a convenient scapegoat, they can evade accountability and protect their image. Point number six, aggressive defensiveness. Evil people often become extremely defensive when cornered. They may lash out with aggression, anger, or even threats to intimidate and silence you. It's essential to recognize this behavior as a sign that you're getting close to exposing their true nature. When evil individuals feel threatened, they may respond with aggressive defensiveness. This can involve raising their voice, making threats, or using intimidation tactics to discourage you from digging deeper into their actions. Point number seven, silent treatment. When evil individuals sense you're getting closer to the truth, they may employ the silent treatment. Silent treatment is a passive-aggressive tactic where the evil person stops communicating with you. It's meant to create anxiety and make you feel like you've done something wrong, even if you haven't. It's a way to regain control over the situation. Point number eight, smear campaign. Evil people are known for launching smear campaigns against those who threaten their facade. A smear campaign involves spreading false or damaging information about you to tarnish your reputation. Evil individuals often use this tactic to discredit you and make it seem like you're the problem, not them. Point number nine, intimidation, finally, evil people might resort to intimidation tactics. This could range from veiled threats to stalking, designed to scare you into silence. It's crucial to take these threats seriously and seek help if necessary. Evil individuals use these tactics to frighten you into compliance and to prevent you from exposing their true nature. Conclusion, understanding the behaviors of evil people when they sense you're onto them is a crucial step in protecting yourself. Remember, knowledge is power and recognizing these tactics empowers you to deal with such individuals effectively. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Stay safe and vigilant, my friends, and we'll see you in the next video.